We're for the Aviva Rugby Premiership programme, uh, giving the opportunity to these youngsters and 50 schools around Bath, um, having the opportunity to get excited about rugby and giving the opportunity to teachers to learn how to coach kids, tag rugby, touch rugby, rugby, and for kids who've never played it before to kids who play it every week to come together and come together as a team and and just have a bit of enjoyment as it's coming into sort of the World Cup next year and in what four and a half, five more years we've got the World Cup in England. Even if it's after school or Saturday, Sunday morning, to have the opportunity to run around with your friends or a group of people you know as a kid to, like you said, get out and just be active. That's what we want to be. And I was fortunate enough to come from a small island, which that's all I could could do. So if we get this out and about in Bath and all places around England, it'll be it'll be fantastic to get kids out and about, learning teamwork, learning a bit of enjoyment in sport, and uh, just having fun. Everybody's moving forward in the right direction, and everybody's moving together. Um, you've got all the Premiership clubs all joining in, doing this around their areas, and every player is is all going to support it. We're all going to come in, lay a hand. You see, there's four or five of us down here helping out with the coaching as well, and it, it's just about that you said bringing these kids up so they can have fun and keep moving forward in their life. And the teamwork's a massive thing for. Every everything in life and it's with a bit of an enjoyment it's brilliant. Good win for Bath in, uh, in the Heineken Cup and now attention moves back to the Premiership. We have had a tough sort of um, <coughs> two three weeks with uh, the Gloucester loss and then the Brits we were unfortunate against but we got the five points we needed out in Italy. Uh, now our focus are back on the uh, uh, Aviva Premiership with Leicester this weekend. Um, it's going to be a tough game, but it's a it's a it's a game where everybody wants to put their marker down before the autumn internationals as well as as well as Bath Leicester as being a, a great rivalry. When you were growing up, I guess Bath against Leicester was always the traditional rivalry as well. I mean, do you remember growing up watching the games between those sides? It seems to be the one that everyone remembers. Yeah, I remember the Bath came over to Jersey the first. I think it was ninety six, ninety seven when the first game first turned professional. So Bath were the first team I ever seen, um, and ever since then, sort of I was sort of followed them and fortunately enough now I'm, I'm here playing sort of doing a, a childhood uh, sort of boys dream being a, a professional rugby player which is fantastic and like you said watching Leicester and Bath the, 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 the way the games went in those days hard fought games not much in them Bath were very successful at the start of the Premiership season uh, when it started now Leicester are coming back strong but now there's so many good teams in in these competitions that we've got to take opportunities and when the when the trophies are in front of you you just got to take them you can't hold anything back bringing in the signings like Simon Taylor as well who's who's I remember watching him when he played for the Lions he's one of the best back rowers I've ever watched and bringing him in it's just going to be a positive for the team and in the next season is going to be interesting and the season after it's what we're going to do as a squad and as a club by building on what we've done this year awesome internationals are coming up I mean just give us your thoughts on what you're hoping for what you're expecting oh I just think that the Every player who's in the EPS agreement and outside the in, in the other um, 32 squad, every player is playing very well at the moment, and I think it's it's a massive competition for places, and that's what we have to do as a, a squad for England to to make us go forward and become world beaters, and that's what we all want. Um, for myself, I just want to be playing the standard of rugby that I've been playing for the past sort of three, four years, which has got me to this place. And when I get the opportunity to get back on that pitch, I'm going to take it with both hands and hopefully keep the shirt that whichever I'll be going into. You've got Mark Cueto, who's always been on form for the past six, seven years. You've got Ashton, who's been on fire, scoring tries. You've got Strettle, who's moved clubs and, and found a new lease of life, which is fantastic. You've got Foden and Armitage at full-back. And then myself, who's a totally different type of player to all of them. And then behind the scenes, you've got Tom, Topsy Ojo, who's scoring tries for fun, as well as Tom Vandell. And they're all putting pressure on people like myself and the other wingers to keep performing and keep turning in week in week out and putting in performances and tries that, that need to be done. Everyone wants to see more, everyone needs to see more in this in this awesome international series to prove that wasn't a one-off and England will be a force in, in New Zealand in the World Cup. Yeah, that was the first win out there I think since the by a Northern Hemisphere team in the Southern Hemisphere since the Rugby World Cup so that was a good seven years so that's, that's a step forward and it was a step forward done by England and that's how we want to keep going forward as, a, as England going into this World Cup in 11 months. You have, you're sort of a very proud Englishman, you have those tattoos to show it as well. I mean, in terms of sort of pride for, for your country, I mean, it, it means a lot to everyone, but for you with your background and the World War II heritage and history you have, it, it means a lot to you, doesn't it? Oh, massive, like, to, to come from such a small place as well, and I, I obviously had one opportunity because sport in Jersey's a lot further away than if you play for your local club in England because you'll be straight away associated to a professional side. So to have the opportunity that I had from Jersey, I've had to take it with both hands and I, I wouldn't 
slack off at all. I just want to keep moving forward and with the heritage of my grandparents being in the wars and stuff and even everybody, the, the amount of people that go out to all these war places and risk their lives. As a, we look at how England's rugby and the Premiership have got that link with um, Help the Heroes and our, our own ambassador for Holiday for the Heroes, which we pay for servicemen to go out to Jersey. Um, you just got to do it for your country because these people are going out there fighting wars and we've just got to go on a pitch and play our best and theirs is life and death and ours is win or lose.